Sonia Morgan. Welcome to my kitchen. And I'm gonna show you one of the recipes from my Toaster Oven Cookbook series called 20 Minutes and Under $20. So as you can see, I have my Sonia style going on. I just came from school. I picked up my daughter. We had a snack. We did homework. Now she's upstairs doing her computer games for half an hour, getting her jammies and everything together for the bath. I'm gonna make dinner so that when dinner's over, bath time's over, I'm ready to go. So I need my little denim, whatever you call these things. I've been wearing them for 20 years, I don't know what you call these things. Okay. Chicken, parm, it's all the play dates favorites. Every play date that comes here wants the chicken parm. Be careful with the juices. You keep it in the bottom drawer of your refrigerator. Very important so it doesn't drip on your other fresh veggies and things uh, because you can get salmonella. Okay, you can buy organic or you can buy non-organic. There's a couple of dollars difference, but it's still under $20 if you do organic. Not recyclable. Now, I can cook one of these in under tw uh, 20 minutes, the bigger one. But if I have more than four people, I'll do both. But I think I'll do the one piece bigger in 20 minutes. All right, so here's my toaster. Okay, I go through one of these every, I want to say five to seven years. But it's not the best one on the market. It's not from you know the most expensive store. It's just the cheapest one I find, the trustiest. And I try to get as deep as possible because that way you can fit a whole uh, small roast like a chicken if you want. But I'm going to put this on the higher level because when I cook my uh, cheese on top, I want it to melt and it gets a nice brown top. Uh, tin foil. And you always keep this ready to go because you don't have time to be cleaning. And if you do exactly as I show you, you won't have to clean anything ever. So you make your little boat that keeps all the juices from running all over the place. Get done, nothing fancy, don't kill yourself. You just wanna make sure the juices don't run all over this little clean pan. And then when this gets dirty, you throw that foil out and you start all over again. So you're not scrubbing pans. That's why I don't fire the Viking up. If I'm gonna do that, it's for a dinner party. I bring in a chef to help me, not an expensive chef, but somebody that knows how to cook healthy. I lay out the menu and he basically have. Now you can go with your fancy natural or organic uh, sauce, whatever flavor you like. Cost maybe a dollar more than your favorite Costco brand, which I'm happy to do. This one's a four cheese. I know the kids like the cheesy one. And this is called marinara. So either way, if you want to save that extra dollar, why not? Besides, you don't use the whole um, jar. So be mindful that if you do save the leftover in the jar, you don't leave it in the refrigerator because it gets, it turns on you. So what you would do is freeze it and keep it for another time, unless you're going to use it within the next day. So you put some sauce on the bottom. That keeps the chicken really uh, tender and moist. I'm going to go with my 20 minute piece. But since I have a few extra people with me helping out today, I'm going to put in the second piece. Okay, now you put the rest of the sauce on top, and again, you don't need to use the whole jar. You can keep some for a little pasta. I know my little daughter, she likes um, pasta with sauce ready at any time to add to a meal that doesn't go far enough. And she can eat. Okay, so you spread this out. I probably should have used a spatula rather than my favorite little wooden spoon because I'm just too lazy. I don't want to wash too many utensils. One thing does it all. And I put it on the top so it doesn't get the tray dirty. We're moving along here, right? Because we mm -hmm. want to go out later. It's Thursday night, date night. Okay, so now the cheeses are anywhere from $350 to $450 each. Okay, if you really are a good bargain shopper and you go to your favorite wholesale outlet, great. I ran to the neighborhood store. And you can do the low fat, you can do the full fat. For children, I like full fat because I think their brains grow until they're three and they need the fat for that. But um, a lot of families do like low fat. So this one is the uh, 
lower fat mats. Don't skimp on the cheese because the kids really are in this whole thing for the cheese. That's what gets them to eat the chicken. So I have a bunch left over that you can use on a pasta. Okay, so you know we're staying under $20. Some people have complained $20 is quite a bit, I know, because you can run out and get a slice for less than that. But then I don't skip on the Parmesan. I don't skimp on the Parmesan. I like the full fresh Parmesan, not that dried one in the jar. Same effect, and you don't put that much anyhow uh, if you want to go that way, but you don't need it. This is just to give a little sharpness on top, and you don't need it at all. Now, the seasonings are already in your jar of sauce. Okay, so you slide this in carefully. You don't want it to drip all over because I do not want to have to clean that. Okay, and then you take this out, you clean it, back in. The rest of the oven is spotless because you're not dripping. You have this line of foil, you have this line of foil, and you have your little bucket. And anyhow, like I said, after five or six years, you dump it for $59.95 or $99.95, or if you want to go crazy and get top of the line for $300, which I don't suggest, you buy a new one. All right, it's plugged in, yes. So I cook top and bottom, and 20 minutes, and full, full force. Uh, here's it's 480 degrees. It's a toaster oven, so you want it as high as possible. So like I said earlier, with Sonia's style, you can get away with this. You can serve to the finest of friends, royalty, or just have your mom and sister over and the babysitter and everyone's happy and this is not very glamorous, but I do have a beautiful kitchen as a backdrop. Yes, she does. Later. And we are ready. Now, I like to burn the cheese on the top a little bit. You don't have to, but all the kids fight about that part, so I want to be popular in my neighborhood. So let's see, take it out. And of course, you made your little, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what we're gonna call this thing. Little bucket. Ooh, and I put it on the so good. Now I can serve it right off this for the kids if they're starving and they're in a hurry. But if you want it to look fancier for other guests, okay, watch how I do this. So children are happy to have it right out of the tin foil because they don't want to wait. But if you do have people with you, you will serve it on a platter. And of course this is not a platter, guys, okay? It's just a plate that I pulled out for my daughter. When I get a little better at these videos, I'll do it on a platter. I'm gonna put a little sauce in there. That is it. Then this, of course, you just roll it up and throw it out. I should show you that. I just don't know where to put these things. Hold on. So then you take this. Now the kids would kill you if you take this. They want the cheese. But you just roll this whole thing up. It's not even hot anymore. Look at this. Throw the whole thing out. And then you have your backup foil so that it didn't dirty the pan. Okay, watch this. Pan clean. Back in there, your piece of foil, you're ready to go. We even had money left over for bread. And we have the receipt to prove it. So that's it, we have Simple Serving by Sonia Style and all the children love it, and I serve this for my family all the time. This is one out of at least 20 uh, toaster oven recipes I have, and you should always add a vegetable for the children. This is a simple salad I threw together earlier, but of course you can have asparagus or broccoli, anything that you think goes well with chicken parm. Well, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to sharing some other recipes in the future.